what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man. This is Misha the Jewelry. It's your boy Chris Stowe. This is Trap Wait Kiss. Man, it's your boy Tay Cummins. Here's Center 2 Flash. It's your boy Chevy Woods from the Taylor Gang. What up? It's Chew Jackson. It's your boy Looty Boys. Girl over there on the way. It's your boy DJ Girl Quit Playing. And now you can get in with the Bird Boys. No smoke, no smoke. Free NBA young boy. It's your man DJ Motor Main. I am your host of the Berg Boys. Standing beside me and probably behind me is my man Sir Flackwood. And right here to my very right and on the wheels of steel tonight is DJ Spills, my general. Shout out to everybody that's listening right now. We about to get into this interview. So, as we do it, I'm going to stand back here. Let the guys have the couch tonight. Um, We're going to share this microphone. What's going on, fellas? How y'all feeling, man? What's going on, Good. Get a round of applause yeah, yeah, yeah. for him, Spills. Let's get a round of applause for him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the police yeah, yeah. Up. BH, BH, They geeked up. BH, they they BH. geeked up. He's here tonight. Bloodhound Brotherhood. Yes, sir. Word, man. Blessed, man. Blessed to see y'all brothers in the building tonight, man. Thank y'all for coming Blessed tonight. To here, Thanks for having me. Um. Uh. What What's going on with y'all, man? Uh. First, let me uh talk to Rontez, brother. Um, what's up? How you feeling, man? Uh, blessed, man. Can't complain. You know, everything going right in life. So just trying to uh take advantage of the time in the moment. So definitely, definitely. You You are uh an amazing talent to me because you are one of what I I see a rare breed is a, a athlete and an entertainer because. You you actually are good at music. <laughs> Appreciate that. I mean a lot. I mean more than you liking me as a football player. And, and, and but I mean you you've made it to the highest level playing in an F in an NFL. So, um, how does uh, music top being able to play? You know the highest level in football for you. Oh man, uh, they always maybe not even top it, but you know how does music you know. Go together with your uh, football career. They always been neck and neck. Like it's been a battle between both of them my whole life. And uh, Bang Assist, George, probably known Ooh. as. He don't like to hear Bang that. <laughs> <laughs> he don't like to hear that, but you know, I met this man in fifth grade. You know what I mean? And um, he could tell anybody more than anybody in the whole world that my battle with football and music was I'm at his house recording a mixtape. But I got to be at camp in an hour. My equipment and everything right outside his door. So I'm like, bro, I'm about to be gone for a month. We got three songs to drop. Tell your dad, whatever, y'all shoot a video. <laughs> and I'm a, <laughs> when I get back, I'm going to do it after camp. Like, it's been it's been a uh, back and forth battle for me. So um, we haven't pushed it properly due to us being busy in other areas of our life, though. But we feel like we probably the hottest for real. And there's a lot of music that people haven't heard. And being an athlete, it's hard to do that, though. But with Le'Veon Bell and these other guys, Lillard, all these guys are coming out and rapping, Kevin Durant, whoever. But um, yeah. these guys are rapping, and they're a bigger platform. So it's like people are giving a little more attention to it. And I think it's a perfect time for me to show who I am and who my guys is. Well, yeah. uh, historically, we had guys like Shaq, who yeah. was kind of one of the be- better yeah, rappers. But I think that's a popularity <laughs> win. Man. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, but everybody likes the Shaq, music. Right. Everybody likes yeah. Shaq. Man. But I mean, it was, it was an era like, too. It was nobody like Kobe. That's why nobody really like Kobe. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe, Kobe could rap nobody in a different like language, but Kobe was trash. Come on, G. Yeah, yeah I mean, Kobe. Kobe was but nobody but wanted man. to listen to Kobe back in the day. He he just was. I mean, I don't know. I think his mm-hmm. music just didn't have enough swag. Maybe it was ahead nah, of my they time. Had no swag, man. But it was it was ahead of a lot of people's time because it didn't. <laughs> nobody really listened to it that around me. This you stuff know. might hit right now. If it might, was over, I, I have to give it a listen, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah. Me too, though. Me he too. didn't. You me know too. what I'm saying? He was definitely a better basketball player than he was an, uh, an entertainer. Nah. Um, um, some other people that had. Some good songs. I won't. T- I won't go into detail, but you're you're definitely a good talent. You know, Appreciate both on and off the field. Um. So so bang assist. How was it coming up? Um. Being you a mus- musician. Um. Did you all always start like writing, or was it just like you always like listen to music and then it became that? Yeah, man. I uh. I, I I always listened to music since I was a kid. I listened to a lot of rap, a lot of uh, a lot of East Coast music, like stuff from New York, Philly, uh, 
stuff like that. <laughs> right. You can curse. You can oh, yeah, shit like that. Hey, he almost yeah, yeah, thought he was going to get fined or something. Like that. <laughs> I'm a little more comfortable now. Look, they're going to send you a check. Like yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, I listen to I listen to a lot of music. I started I started right I started trying to like write little rhymes when I was probably like eleven. I was, I started trying to write little rhymes, but I started recording myself when I was shit. <laughs> 14 maybe 14, So you were 14, actually 15. Like you had your own studio Or were Yeah You just yeah, like, yeah, like was spoiled out that, Man was like, He was spoiled No no, no, no studio don't, Dad was don't go there. videos In the backyard <laughs> yeah, I'm outside I looking some, in I had some little shit That my dad could get for me You know what I'm saying Because he He saw that I liked some shit I wasn't in the sports And shit like that I You know what I mean yeah, so you you were serious about the music. Yeah, that's what I was. And you figured I out like what you needed to make your studio, or to at least record yourself. Yeah, man, I, I spent all my time doing that shit. Some of the greatest hits came up in there, man. That's what's up from that. So y'all been friends for a long time, and then are you two are brothers? Yeah, this yeah, is my, my long bro. lost brother. Yeah. Oh, know, okay. Ron Miles, aka the Foster Child. The Foster Child, oh, the oh, Foster okay. Child, being a loud pops was a Rolling Stone. No, oh, like, we're word, one, we're word, two word. of eleven. Facts. And uh, he could tell y'all the rest, but like nine years ago, we found him. He had reached out to me, and I'm like, man, I hit my pops. I'm like, man, who this kid that keeps saying he my brother, man? <laughs> on like, MySpace, though, this was on my MySpace. MySpace. <laughs> so this is back then, and I'm like, man, I don't know. He's like, no, you do got a brother named Rowan. So, like, damn, we got crazy get thing it. is we went to rival schools. Yeah. I went to Penn Hills. Oh, Willow yeah. Hills. He went to Willow Hills. Yeah, baby. My whole family went to Willow Hills, and I went to Penn Hills. So it was like, you know. Dang, how did you? How did that happen? You just wanted to go there? Foster child. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> that that, that name right. real. You're right. Wrong about the foster child. So. Dang, that's right, crazy. Man. That's that's crazy how that happened like that though. Yeah, man. But everything happened for a reason, I believe. You know. Absolutely. Imagine if I never met the broski. <laughs> That's a blessing. Swear. Uh, so for the people that don't know, I wanted to let you guys tell them, what, what does BH stand for? I see you guys use it all the time. I know you already BH. said it in the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, I, I was starting young, you know, feeling. Yeah, I'll follow you. But, um, like, we was something else back in the day, and, you know, you f- go through things with old friends and family and, one of the guys that was with us went out and copyrighted the name or something. Somebody had got back. We're like, we ain't going to go by that. But um, BH, Bloodhound, Brotherhood mean more than anything to me because it before it's a rap group, it's our everyday life. You know what I mean? And um, it's more so about Bloodhound. I mean, you ain't got to be blood, but if you in that circle, you blood. Like, you, like blood don't make you family loyalty, yeah. though. So most of the people in this BH thing is family, for real. So anybody on the outskirts that is and it ain't blood is blood. Once once they once we say they're a part of that, but brotherhood. But everybody gotta be a dog. You gotta be a dog. Gotta be a dog. Yeah, dog mentality. He he want me to leave that out. Yeah, because that that was definitely um that was one of my main main questions to get out of the way. Now um you. You guys already told the story about, you know, how you guys all met. Um, yeah. How about you You tell us what you guys are actually working on right now? Because, I, I mean, I know you guys have been in the studio. Studios, we working, videos, man. everything. Working. We're doing everything. Our, our whole purpose this time around is to stay consistent with the work, even if I am going. Because everybody know I leave. I'm going half the year. And it's it's a it's a job that I can't say, all right, I can take a week from. Like, it's Monday through Monday, six months straight most of the time. And I'm... So basically, that, yeah. just trying to fill up the the uh, the search box. Yeah, basically, <laughs> and search yourself. Absolutely, it, it, you guys, you guys have like a a joint album or a mixtape or an EP that you guys are working on right now. Mixtape, you know, we just more so figure like the the, the, the new wave is visuals and the internet. Yeah, we're yeah, just we trying to break try through. Flood with it. So we right we now. could we can make a mixtape to be blown in the face. You could put songs on. We just gonna keep making hits and just keep pushing them, trying to come up. We with got the some hits too. Craziest though. videos, whatever hits. it is. We more at this point is we trying to break through and entertain. Like you said it best. We're entertainers. We dance. We laugh. We goofy. Yeah, we, fun, man. The yeah. chemistry amongst us is natural, and we try to display that on camera. And sometimes it's easily to see, but um, we we're, we're just really trying to break through. 
keep making music and we're going to keep pushing it this time instead of, you know, taking a break. Just right. stay consistent. Stay consistent. Yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, that's that's awesome to hear. My um, my Moving on to the next thing, I was curious as to, um, do you guys, like, always like to use the same camera guys or do you you open to working with other people? Like, same with producing. Do you guys normally like to have your own beats? Banga yeah. can tell you how I feel about this. Yeah. Right? <laughs> how I feel about this, bro. Right? What do I care about the most? <clears throat> go back and forth about it. He but, he like he needs he's smart. He like the network. I'm cool with the networking, but I like the network. He like the like network. To yeah, I like the visuals. Different people. I yeah. like the look. Right, but no mm-hmm. matter who doing it, I feel you. If it can look real, if it look like that thing I like, I'm shooting with you, and we we treat our we treat them right. We have a good time. It ain't like it's boring. Anybody that shot with us will tell you they probably had. The oh, best time in their life with us than anybody else. We ain't boring at all. I guarantee you. <laughs> we be turned. We was in the rain this last video we got. He got a song <laughs> called No Play Play coming out. We shot yeah. with Cakes Films. And um, this is our first time shooting with him. But he was saying he been wanted to work with us and his brother and everybody. They could tell you, man, we we, we a good time. We going to make you turn up. That's, you know what I mean? You want to have fun with us, man. That's what it's about, you know? I mean, the passion, I'm, I already, like you said from the beginning of the interview, you're, the passion that you have on the field is just as hard as it is off the field for your music. Yeah, so we, we commend you for that, for sure. Let everybody know, like, where'd you, you went to Woody Hyde, bang, where'd you, where'd you go? Woody, Woody Hyde. Yeah. You went to Woody Hyde, yeah. too? Oh, that's what's yeah, That's weird. I uh, met him in Duquesne in fifth grade. We both was in Duquesne. <laughs> Some had came up. Moved around years later. Now we both in one of those. I meet him at my cousin's house. I walk in my aunt's house. He in there. <laughs> <laughs> Doing that my aunt's crazy. Like small world. small world. Small world. Swear. Yeah. Like your brother said, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, I swear, yeah. Max. Do uh, um, you, have, you have another question? I wanted to ask uh, a, a sports question, actually. Um, oh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so, uh, so how about uh, one of your greatest sports moments? Can you speak on one of your greatest sports moments? Of course. It's well, going to be. It's going to be. Go with, which, which one? I got a couple. You might know which one. I think but I know. Yeah, my, I, think my I, want, I, yeah, I want to get, I want to get, get, I want to get your idea who, which one you think it is. It's going to be uh, intercepting Tom Brady. Ooh, I like that. We ain't never. I ain't never. No, no, it wasn't Tom Brady. It was Eli. Eli Manning. No, my boy. No, my boy. See, I think I think it was when he returned the fumble in, uh, on Atlanta. It wasn't your daughter there? My daughter was there. Yeah. <laughs> he pointed at her. first game, NFL game ever, I scored. But no, I think in the order, it'd be Sis is right first, and then that play would be second. It was my two all times. And the second one, because my daughter was there, her first game ever. I know that Pittsburgh game. And I had like a 57 yard touchdown, though. But um, it got to be the, the Giants game because the starting safety had got hurt. So I had to play all special teams. And from the third quarter all the way to the end of the game, I had to play. So I'm exhausted, though. But. You know, I love the game, so you don't know you weak, but you can feel your body cramping. I jump off sides on fourth down. You know what I mean? So not only do they keep driving, they get to our one-yard line, and everybody knows it's because of me. We had them on fourth down. I jump off sides on punts, so I'm telling everybody, I'll get, I'll get it back. That's when I picked off Eli mm-hmm. the on the one-yard line. We came back and won the game in overtime. We got player of the game, got the game ball, and it's like it was more so like I jumped off sides, but I wasn't. Worried. It was like, man, like I knew what I was that get coach it back. What did you say? Mm-hmm. Oh, I told him, uh, they said, like, how did you feel? Like, when I've been through way too much to care about, like, an offsides or so a penalty, yeah. it's just a game. Like, that was know, deep to me. Like, that play was everything because of the adversity. You know what I mean? But that'd be my favorite. That's what's up. And, and your daughter was there that game? She was at the game when I scored against Atlanta. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, that's crazy because I, I should have went crazy, <laughs> but you know, when the light shine and it. <laughs> he froze you up. See a thousand <laughs> people in front of you looking at you. You like, all right, like, look, I'm just happy I'm here. Like, that's, right, you know, that's, that's right. in the way to y'all. Like, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> uh, it's a real man. Some guys never will score a touchdown in their life, man. Yeah, in, no, in, in the NFL, that's man, too. that's a, it's a blessing, man, and I never take it for granted. Yeah, they weren't allowing it at first, but they brought it back to where now you can do it. I'm gonna go brazy this time. Whatever. What the celebrations? Believe That's good. Man. They did that too, man. Believe. Like, let them have fun, you know. Exactly. I always thought it, I mean, it's it's an entertainment league. Like yeah. we watch it on television. They should be able to entertain like whatever emotion they feeling in the end zone. Long as it ain't they've been going hard with the celebrations you know too. Though. Like they've been getting real creative. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't had my opportunity yet. 
Yeah, I just oh, want yeah. y'all got any shows coming up? Y'all got y'all rocking any stages or? Uh, my sister's uh, Ashley Goodman. Happy birthday coming yeah, up nah, soon. Up, uh, the twenty eighth. She's having a couple parties. She wanted me to perform at. So nothing right now. I know it's for sure written in stone. But I'll be posting it if it is though. So. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to catch the last one. Man, come through. The one last, the last one was crazy. Room 16 had a little, had a little party for me. It went crazy. And you perform? Yeah, back at the end. But, you know, it got so, they they start shutting it down because it start getting out of hand. Like, people start going yeah, crazy. Man. <laughs> That's, it's all love, though, man. So, you know, yeah. we're going to do it again. We know they're going to come show up, show I, some love. Back to the music. I want to know um, some of your influences as far as music's concerned. Like who who'd you grow up listening to that that really influenced you to want to start rapping? I'm a I'm a big Jay Z fan. All right, yeah, all right. Jay big that's my favorite rapper. It's I like bad. that. I it's like bad. that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, favorite Jay Z song, Ron Tess. Mm. Favorite one. Beach chill, probably. Okay. That's There's so answer. many though. That's hard though. That but, is a tough question. Cause yeah. I, I like I like uh, Lost One. Yeah, Lost One. You know, man, fantastic. I like. Man, I keep going. I feel I you. keep going. I feel you. Banger, what's what's your favorite uh influence that you had as far as music's concerned? Don't lie. Yeah. yeah. Don't who lie. you who you like? He told me about uh, three people. Uh, Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. DMX. Fab. Fab? Yeah, that's it. He said Fab. Damn. Fab. Officer. <laughs> that's that's your favorite? That's your favorite. That, that's, a first. that's a first. That's a first. There's a thousand ways. There's a million ways, son. You're like officer. You you got a fetish with police. You want to go officer. It's a cool joint though. How about hold on, Ron. I gotta get I gotta ask Ron. Ron, what's your who's one of your influences as far as rapping's concerned? Uh definitely got a lot of them, you know, big on Jay, big on Wayne. But honestly, my biggest influence as far as like crafting my like working on my craft is probably Lupe. Lupe, yeah, I knew it. Okay. See, I yeah. know I know these guys. <laughs> push. Yeah, yeah, push. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, very man, he's I, very I, push. We had to bring him along because there's a lot of stuff he still he's still breaking through to our yeah. style of music, but this man this man this man's mind's Listen, kinda I'm, crazy. I can do, man. I can do both, you know. He's kinda crazy. I can do both. We had to bring him along. That's crazy. I do got some shit though. I'm I'm looking forward to <laughs> definitely yeah. looking forward to hearing it. I'm 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 glad yeah, yeah, glad you guys coming through. I know, right? Yeah. Banger, you trying to get some bars, some bro? You want? I mean, see what y'all got. Y'all about to play some beats. That's why we wanted to let y'all spin that new track. All right, I'll, no, I'll on the least, I had Jewelry Duty, man. I, I feel you. Yeah, we were supposed I to. We was actually prepared. supposed to work on a video today. Let me tell you how yeah. it happened, though. I just get home stumbling. <laughs> he sleep on the floor. <laughs> I pass out. He waking me up. He's barely ready, but he's fully dressed, but won't wake up. <laughs> I can't Stay find ready, keys, so you man. never gotta give it. <laughs> hey, you made it right on time. We've had a ton of listeners. It's been a great What's interview. Up? Shout out to everybody Shout too out for to everybody listening. listening. Yeah, we appreciate you. Like, um, to be honest, let them know um, where they can find each one of you guys at on Instagram or whatever. Just, on the line. just let them know if if they don't follow you already. Good. Go uh, down the line. Facebook, Laron Miles. Instagram is a Ron three S's underscore Ron. He you know? bougie. Uh, I've been getting a little bougie lately, that boy, man. That boy, boo, it's a that boy, boy, three, three S's. S's. It's a, it's a, it's a Cause you don't want to follow the wrong person, cause you gonna miss out. Like, right? You know? yeah. shit. Absolutely. Uh, I'm bougie. On, on um Instagram, I'm banger c y five five. Yeah. And on Twitter, I'm banger sis. Right. Yeah, it's banger, banger sis. sis. Right though. You don't know. Yeah, no. Yeah, I've been yeah, trying to get on shit. Facebook. I'm banger sis. You don't know. Everything. Man, you know you can SoundCloud. Yeah, banger sis is mostly everything. That's it. I feel you. You yeah, search man. banger sis, you'll find me. Taz, let them know where they can find you, bro. Uh, same thing, man. Facebook, everywhere else is just type Ron Taz Miles. It'll pop up. Yeah. Uh, it's a follow the music too, man. If you supporting football, take a chance. Listen to the music. I promise you. Promise you won't be upset. Yeah. YouTube, SoundCloud, you. Title, iTunes, it's on there. Yeah, yeah. we got songs. And that no play play video about the job. No too. play play. Man. Um, video of the year. It's going to be lit. Tell we shot that in the rain at the park. Y'all man. tell me if that sound crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Don't yeah. worry. That's I wild. can't wait. <laughs> Shout out to Case Film. Man. Shout out to Case. Yeah. Coming through, supporting. He, he jumped on it right away. I, I really appreciate you guys coming through. We have a real quick game before we get into that new song. Um, it's called Either Or. So we're going right. to play a little game. Go ahead. I like games. Either Or. Can we do games? Um, 
Powerade or Gatorade? I'm Gatorade all day, baby. Gatorade. Mm, power. Power. He's got to be different. Everybody know Gatorade is where it's at. Man. I mean, Gatorade's <laughs> cool, but I... Man, I get free Gatorade. I ain't want to say nothing. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was supposed to say that. He was I go to, home with a hundred pack. I ain't got My bank account be... Uh, they told me to drink... Some, they got to drink some water. No, <laughs> shit, he gave me this. <laughs> well, tell me to drink water. <laughs> to, yeah. PS4 or the Xbox? Xbox. <laughs> yeah, Xbox. Yeah. Hey, you know, Xbox go like forty five. Oh, I've been PS4 ninety eight percent of my life until a half a year ago. I'm Xbox. Just turned to it. Yeah. Just, just. Y'all fuck with the cars? Just any Maserati or Tesla? We got a song called Maserati. I swear. Oh, so it's already Maserati. But the Maserati. Tesla yeah. like a little spaceship though. I like the Tesla though. I little polar bear dip. Pepsi or Coke? Pepsi or Pepsi. Coke. That, this tells a lot about you as a person. <laughs> <laughs> like, real. This question is deeper than rap. Pepsi uh, or Coke? Let me this Pepsi. question real deep. Unless I'm drinking uh, some, some alcohol, then I'll take Coke. But I'm I, Pepsi. Respect, see, Coke. I respect that. I want with Coke. Oh, god damn. I ain't so, gonna lie, man. I like Coca Cola. It's like a. Pepsi is like. Help? Fucking sir. I like Pepsi, man. I like Pepsi. Pepsi, Pepsi got that. I grew up because my mom, my mom was a, my mom was flat. As soon as you open it, Pepsi. My mama was you a. Got, uh, you got thirty seconds to drink that motherfucker. Or it's, hey, if you could drink, sir. I'm about to, I'm about to have to, I'm about to have to throw a wrench in the game. Hey. French toast or pancakes? Oh yeah. I gotta you, go. When French you, when toast, you make man. them yourself, though, the yeah, French yeah, toast, yeah. pancakes everywhere, though. My French toast is amazing. Go with pancakes. Ask about, global. Global. Ask about me. He's a one. He's a one. You put him in a toaster still. You gotta put him in a toaster. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. tight. Okay, that's, that's, that's tight. That's the right. Yeah, that's the fish. I yeah, thought he still had it. to rip out the box. The fish. You know what I'm saying? Turn it over. That's the game changer. It's ready. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't gotta touch it after that. I just that's that game changer. Put some olive oil in that bitch so it don't stick. You know what I mean? All right. I take you the stick of butter doing. and rub it on there. See, uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a waffle guy, though. <laughs> yeah, put the butter on that. Okay, uh, now here's a real one. Here's a real one. Oh, here's a real right, one. Let's get it. This is for all the guys. Titties or ass? Ass. I'm a, a ass. Don't play with me. Ass. I'm a, I like ass. Ass, but yeah, I want to give a I want to give an honorable mention titties, to the titties, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> honorable mention. <laughs> but ass. You can have, you can have a negative A cup, man. If you got a nice ass, man, yeah. that go a long way for me. Yeah. Negative A cup, <laughs> that go a very long way for me. Oh, Them is all bro. nipples. Them is all ne- nipples. A negative A cup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. talking about negative A. Well, we can we, we can work on that. But yeah. even if people keep it real, I would I would pay for some fake boobs over fake. But fake butts ain't that. Yeah, get fake a real, bus, a bus real fat one, man. man. You man, you better yeah. keep that. True, yeah. true that, true that. That's why I eat so many sugar daddies nowadays, man. <laughs> you little young girl walk around like that, giant. It's like no, it's like no. I'm <laughs> young girl walk around. I'm gonna get smalls. Forgive me. <laughs> she gonna kill me. No, but um, I wanted to just one more time say thank you guys for coming through. Uh, thank uh, you for having us. The uh, can you guys make sure that uh, you follow these three? Make sure you stay tuned to the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're listening to me on the radio right now. I'm sitting next to the man himself, <laughs> Ryan Brown. How are you today, sir? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for asking, dude. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm feeling good. It's Tuesday. Tuesday night chill spot, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you yes. here? Uh, we gonna talk about uh, first. We should talk about the drummer verse DJ event. Oh, we gonna get right into it. We got to. We okay. got to. Right. Um, um, but what? But before we get into to it direct, I mean quickly, I'll slow it down What's and that? let and let everybody that's listening right now uh, just tell everybody who you are officially from the the gift horseshoe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm my name is RB. Uh. I'm the owner of Farish Brand, um, and I own Boom. a production company by the name of Make Sure You Have Fun. Make sure you have um, fun. Self-proclaimed social gardener. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's me. You came up with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fresh. I feel like that's what I do. Yeah, that's fresh. Yeah. That's fresh. Yeah, I, I'm feeling I'm feeling real groovy too because oh yeah, you, you came in and blessed us with like we got some like 
he came in and blessed us, bro. Like we don't get yeah. blessed a lot, no. do we? <laughs> no, fresh. We I mean, y'all the bird boys, right? Yeah, we yeah. are, man. I'm no, you know what? I'm, right. I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> You're you right. right. You, it's a blessing, right. bro. Right. Every Tuesday. Right. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Is a blessing. Every, every Tuesday. Tuesday. Every day is a blessing, but every Tuesday especially. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we, we definitely got blessed today. We did. We definitely did. Yeah, we appreciate did. y'all for rocking you know, it. Yeah, y'all y'all don't have to wear it. Y'all wearing it right now. I appreciate hey, that. Hey, that's your This is your interview. Thanks for the care. You know, I sit on the show, but y'all got it right on. Why not? You know what I'm saying? And I got a couple tees, too, that I'm going to wear. Not tonight on some exclusive days. I'm going to throw you some pics in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I I am wearing one on on Saturday. Yes, yes, Saturday. Spills wanted to talk. So this Saturday, huh? Yeah, 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 right, right. We're gonna be fresh with these. Super fresh, super fresh. The Steeler, Steeler, Steeler donkeys. For sure. Um, But yeah, this Saturday we got a drummer vs DJ. Uh, 2018 tournament is kicking off this Saturday at Spirit Ooh. Hall. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's get that cracking, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Sugar, it's March 3rd. Um, doors open at nine. Competitions at is ten. It? But yeah, drummer versus DJ. I mean, we're going to. You want me to explain? You want me to get into? Yeah, yeah. get into. Uh, I, yeah. This particular one. What does it mean? To yeah. You? So, so this particular one again is a, is round one. Uh, 2018. We got we got the returning champions uh, DJ Adam C and Dylan Wood. They're really uh, good. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. They're really three good. time three time champions. They um we got DJ KB. It's a big deal. Allen Jackson. Yeah, it is. It is. They so, got a belt now too, right? Yeah, they got the belt last year, the 2017 championship. So you just belt. started the belt. Yeah, the belt is a new is a new addition to it. Yeah, we, we that's lit, bro. Yeah, we Boy, wanted to right kind of just beef it up and you know what I mean, make it more more. More special and just more, you know, I mean, more exciting. So, do you um, urge them to bring that belt that night? Yeah, yeah. I try to tell everyone to bring the belt just to, you know, I I, I grew up watching WWF, that's, so that's late it's like you, you know, it yeah, like that. yeah. It was, it was. You're, you're like the I won't I Vince wanna, McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to say the black Vince McMahon, but yeah, Vince McMahon, you're like yeah. Vince McMahon. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's exciting. It just kind of has been building up. Um, but let me get oh uh, DJ KB Alan yeah, Jackson. Sorry, we gonna get no, 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 no. Yeah. DJ KB Alan Jackson. Uh, we got DJ Big Phil, Terry Lovers, and we got the Berg Boys. Yes, sir. DJ Motorman and Spills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know yeah, if people Spills know this is in there. Yeah, this is the first competition as the Berg Boys. Yep. Well, we're not both DJing. No, no, we're not. Spills. I don't know if y'all knew this, but Spills is a drummer. Yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah drummer baby. Spills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, drummer man. Spills is coming out, man. Yeah, Drummer that's Spills right. is coming out. So you got to come check it out. Um, it's eighteen plus. So, um, yeah, come through. Um, if you yeah. are twenty one, you can drink. Yeah, if you're twenty one, you can drink. Eighteen that's to come. Lit. Yeah, twenty one to drink. Eighteen to come. In Pittsburgh, if you in Pittsburgh, it's at Spirit, right? It's at Spirit, two four two fifty first Street, one five two zero one. I got actually got a surprise for your listeners. So this is everybody who's like listening live. If you go to farishbrand.com, www.farishbrand.com, and check yeah, and check out with Berg Boys as the discount code. The first ten people that go online get free tickets. Ooh. Hey, see, yeah. Hey, we need. Yeah, I was about to say we need. Yeah, we need them right now. Yeah. Go you online, guys listening? right? Go if online. you're listening live right now, we're on IG. See, because it's not going to be there. No, nah, there's only ten. I'm yeah, there's only ten. 10. Right now. So the first ten people, if you listening right now, you better hurry your ass up. And 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 where did you say they should go? Uh, as far as brand dot com. That's www.farish brand.com there you go um you can go to drummer vs dj.com too so either one yeah Dr- either one. drummer vs dj.com yeah. farreshbrand.com get it how you live yeah you only got a matter of seconds because 10 tickets will go fast super quick but the please don't if you don't live here and you're not gonna be here don't do some dumb shit and just go buy the tickets up yeah you I mean, don't waste them yeah don't waste them if you can't come, yeah if you're not gonna come if you're yeah. not gonna come don't go don't go get them please come Go right now. Hurry yes. up. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And now, <clears throat> a little bit more on it. How was it having, uh, how was it starting the drummer vs. DJ event? Um, how did you start the whole the whole yeah. process of drummer vs. Yeah. DJ? How did the idea come about? Yeah, so the idea of drummer vs. DJ, it is, it's crazy. It actually came when I was working at Citizens Bank. Um, I was just, I was literally in training and I was talking to, some of my colleagues and I think I had an idea or we had an idea just to do an event that that blended drummers and DJs 
Um, and I just had known so many DJs from like JX4 to DJ Bamboo, um, uh, DJ Red, a uh, ton. We had like Keeves, Todd Keeves. We had, we had a bunch of DJs. And, you know, I was like, well, I already know a bunch of cats spinning. It was just finding some drummers. We found seven DJs, seven drummers. Um, and we just planned it out, just booked it out. Um, it was like it was like the, literally like one of the first events that I've ever produced. Uh, we produced it at Spirit. Um, yeah, and it just did really Sunday. well. Yeah, it was it was the first event on a Sunday at that venue to reach the capacity. It was like when it was earlier within the first year. So you know, just kind of like took off from there. They gave us some more dates, and we just kept producing it and refining it and tweaking it until it got to where it's at now. That's yeah. lit. So you mm-hmm. curated that into what is <clears throat> where it's come to now, where. This is the third one now. Has it been so? You've done it uh, annually so far. Yeah, so so it was done quarterly. It was a part of this uh okay this event quarterly. series That's called dope. Yeah Loyal Order. Um, shout out to Donnie. Um, but we pro- we've produced seven different editions of it. So this is technically technically the eighth one, but the first one in the new tournament bracket structure. So okay, yeah, it'll still be quarterly, but it'll be you know the the champion the first place winner from every round. Moves on to the championship round. Okay. Second place winners will go to the wild card round in October, and then we'll have the championship in December. Dope, mm-hmm. dope, dope, dope. Mm-hmm. So tonight's just, I mean, not tonight, but uh, Saturday will be just the first round. Yeah, Saturday's round one. Yep, Saturday's round one. Dope. Yep, 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 yep. So mm-hmm. is it like when you get in? When, yeah, winning, you're automatically in the championship Word, round. But yeah. there's only one win that night? Like, Two. Yeah, so the, the one one band basically, one drummer and one DJ one, win that night. Exactly, exactly. And then the second place will be invited to the wild card um, in October for for a chance for the last slot in the championship. So oh, if you lose, man. you still got an opportunity in, in the championship, but you got to beat out the rest of the second place winners throughout, throughout the year. That's dope. That's yeah. that's a dope challenge, man. Yeah, yeah, it's it's exciting. It's it's super fun. Um, you know, ask around if you haven't been. Um, it's just a a unique unique. Uh, uh, just blending of of artists, um, but to put it in competition style and like like have people like routine practice routines and and have like a choreographed set, it just takes it to a new level. So that's dope. Yeah. Have you had anybody get uh, like booed off the stage? No, nah, it's it's crazy. You know, even even some of the 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 more rookie DJs that we've booked, um, they just bring out their best for this. You that's know what dope. I mean? So like like even people who may not normally rock out. Or or just you know what I mean. You what may think drummers? you may think a rock out. They just they turn up. You ever had any bad drummers? I think the same too. I think I think everybody. Yeah, they just again. they just level it up. That's yeah, dope, man. yeah. There's people dope. who got you know more flair, different flair than others. But everyone who's come through has showed out in one way or another. You know what I mean? That's good. Yeah, yeah. It's been good. It's been it's been it's been great to know all those different talented individuals that are like in the city. You know what I mean? So uh, if if you were to get your Dana White on or get your Vince McMahon on, uh-huh. um, what uh, how would you set up the bracket for this weekend? If you had to put your final four, could could, could you could you come up with a final four? A final four for drummer versus DJ? Yeah, this weekend. Uh, Just your predictions, you know. N- Just- it's just a fair prediction, no? Yeah, no. What I'll say, what I'll say is this: I'll say, I'll say for sure. Um, I mean, just just the tail of the tape. Adam C and Dylan Wood, they've just been crushing it. They really, they really set the standard for kind of what what's to be expected in this event. Um, um, you know, we have we do have another champion in in, in DJ Red and Giuseppe Capolopo. They they've been crushing it into la- and last year, so I'm sure they'll be coming back uh, to do their thing. But you know, past that. It's, I think it's up in the air. Whoever, whoever, whoever bring it. That's yeah, dope. whoever bring it. So I, I can't give a final four because you never know. Cool, cool, cool. But know. I'm glad you brought. I'm glad you at least said two. So if it came down to those two, what do you think it's going to come down to that people can look forward to this weekend? Uh, so so out of those two. So DJ Red, he won't be he won't be performing. But as far as you mean Adam C and Dylan Wood, yeah. Um, and your question is. What 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 do you think they bring that you know something is that is hard for them to beat you know somebody what's yeah hard for it's somebody to for, beat them because that's what they're oh doing. And what's for, special and for, not just for someone to beat them but also for someone that's never been there or seen it like what right. what what can they expect yeah from like so that caliber of a of a yeah so artist? just to just to explain what what drummer versus DJ the competition is it's a it's a it's a live DJ match with a live drummer they rehearse these choreographed sets. Um, 
you know, we've we've refined the rules now to where you have to include three genres. So you expect a lot of different types of music. Um, expect some drum solos, some just some some super clean and tight transitions, some clever mixes. Um, um, yeah, and just and just you know, it, it. I'll say this: one thing you know when uh, when a, when a duo is performing, you know if they rehearsed or practiced or not. It, at this point, people have been so on it that you can tell, like, you know what I mean. You can yeah. tell, like. Who's practiced? There's been, you know, we had people who came through and, you know, got one practice maybe in beforehand. And not to say it was ever but or bad. Right, right, it's right. It's just you can, you know what I mean? It's, you can tell. If you're not practicing, you're, you're not going to win. Yeah, I'll you say that. Tell. I'll say that much. Now, are there uh, more than one judges? Like, are, is somebody judging it? Are yeah. you judging it? No, or? no, I don't judge it. I don't want okay. anyone I don't want anyone coming back to me. <laughs> oh, it'd be Rick the, Rick the drummer. For, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, nah, we have five. We we call them floating judges. So it's not like a panel where everyone's on stage. They're kind of floating around. But um, the the pairs are judged on on three different categories. It's a uh, DJ performance. So you know song selection, blends, uh, mixing, just how clean they were. Drummer performance. Um, again, his chops, how how on point he is, um, and then how well they work together. So they'll be judged as well on on their their collaborative effort. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Now, um, where do you f- where do you see this uh, event going? Like, how how far do you want to take this? Yeah, man. Um, the the goal for drummer vs DJ is to continue just to kind of spread the idea and in, 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 in competition form. Like, the idea of drummer vs DJ is not unique to Pittsburgh or this. People do it all over the place, but having it in like a in like a practice, rehearse, like routine, um, in tournament form, that is a unique part of it. So we're looking to just bring it as as many different places as we can. Um, we actually. We're still we're still ironing out the final final details, but uh, we can look forward for drummer vs DJ to be in DC in May. Dope. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. So so we'll That's be. That's crazy. We're just gonna continue to like move it around as we can. Um, any cities that are interested in it, that want to see it, that you know know they have talented DJs, talented drummers, or people that already do it. Like I said, there's people who already do it that you know I mean could be put to the test. Like how dope is, can you make your set? Now is it um when you when you come like. If you've never been to drummer vs. DJ, are we hearing other music too, or is it just a, a performances? Yeah, so so you know it, the the event is like a party in itself, just because the energy is so high with the event, and and you know they're, they're playing every type of music, so everyone can get into it. Um, but after the competition, we got actually got DJ Bamboo. He's gonna be keeping the party going afterwards. So. So it'll stay up until yeah, yeah, it'll stay up until later. It'll stay up until later. Yeah, cool, the competitional, cool, cool. yeah, the competitional that's rap, and then yeah, I, I, that's that's but one. That's, thing. that's cool because it's a, like you said, it's a party in itself. Like you got the music that's being played right beforehand, and then there's a party after. There's right like after party. Yeah, I feel like I've been you to got a, the show and then the after party. Yeah, the show and then the after party all in the same thing. I, I feel like I've been to uh, so many co- shows, live shows, concerts, and after a show, you so riled up, like it's, you know what I mean, you so. And stuff, well, and, then, when, and then you gotta, and then you just gotta dip and find yeah. something to do. So I like to have the event and the party all in one type of situation. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Did you have anything? Yeah, I, I, um, I wanted to know. Can you talk to us about what the Farish brand is in and of itself? Yeah, yeah. Farish brand. Um, uh, first it's a it's a a streetwear company. So you know we make we make clothing. Um, but over the years, just like you know, through meeting different people and. You know, as as I've grown um, in, in capabilities, we just we've been able to expand to to produce some music. You know, we put out a project a few years ago by the name of Bridges, um, where we just put a bunch of different Pittsburgh artists in, in the studio, um, got some exclusives and, and and dropped that just to kind of show, you know what I mean, a diversity in the music scene. Um, again, we do clothing. We produce events. Drummer vs. DJ. We produce a yearly festival by the name of the city. Same concept. You know what I mean? A bunch of different music, a bunch of different artists. Um, throughout the city, a- across all genres, um, um, so yeah, just pretty much whatever we feel like doing. You know what I mean? Like we're just a creative, a creative hub. So if you want to make music, you want to do clothes, you want to throw events, whatever. You know what I mean? We just we do we do all that. That's, that's awesome. dope. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. I, I know that's, Yeah. That's how'd you come up with the name? It. <laughs> so the name actually it it goes back to high school. I went to uh, shout to to Shinley High School grads. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I went to Shinley High School, and uh, me and my homies, we just we just talk weird. We just said <laughs> we just said words differently. You know what I mean? We just said words real, real funky, 
And Farish was one of the things like if we got we got dressed and we got fresh. We didn't say we was fresh. We said we was Farish. That's so, lit, though. Yeah, yeah. And then and then it kind of like developed into our 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 group name. We we went we went by Farish Crew. And one year for for Christmas, I ended up getting all my homies shirts made with Farish brand on it. Yeah. Um. And you know if you know about screen printing, you know you can't just get like five shirts made. You got to get like twelve. So we got a bunch of we got a bunch of shirts made. I gave them theirs. They all they were all wore them to this New Year's soiree that we had. You you remember that? You remember the old? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I remember the parties. <laughs> so so we uh they all wore them to the New Year's soiree, and then cats already knew. We you know we went by Far Esh, and it was like, yo, where can we get these shirts? And we ended up selling the rest of them um, in that week. That's so dope. so it was yeah. just like you know people obviously cared about clothing and cared to support us and and see some cool stuff. Um, come from the city, so we just kept it moving, and That's through dope. through the years, we've been able to expand on it and 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 stretch it out, and just you know what I mean, do cool stuff. You've been doing a lot of cool things, uh, not even just on like you know the party scene, but um, in a lot of different uh, areas. Uh, what's yeah. driven you the most right now? Um, I, I'd say the city, man. To be honest, I think I think Pittsburgh is what drives me so much, is because you know I. Like I said, I call myself like a social gardener, so I'm meeting everybody. Mm-hmm. I literally, I literally meet everybody and talk to everybody, and I see so much talent and I see so much like potential. And they, it seems like the city screams to have that like that that gel to put it all together. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of the role that I feel like I play is like really bringing together the different cultures and different areas of the city um, in just a cool and exciting and interesting way. You know what I mean? It, it, you'd be hard pressed to, to find someone who's like, yo, I never even thought to, you know what I mean? Thought to even like interact with this person or mm-hmm. I never even thought to make music or, you know, even some of the pairs of drummer versus DJ, these are people who never even would have come across each other. So, you know, we just feel like we're just like a, a bridge, yeah. you know what I mean? A hub. A really hub. like a hub and a yeah. bridge to, to, to the culture and the city for sure. That's, that's, Thank you, man. Well, we thank you for coming, brother. No doubt. Uh, make sure y'all go get y'all tickets. Um, if you can still get your tickets, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can get tickets over at farishbrand.com, um, www.farishbrand.com. Um, also, if you want to see what events we have going on, you can go to www.makesureyouhavefun.com. Make sure um, you have fun. Yeah, com. we got a, a ton of a ton of things coming up. Like we said, we got Drummer vs. DJ this Saturday. We got DJ Motormain, Slim the DJ, DJ yes. Cold Blooded, uh, Spirit uh, for our, our second Saturday at Spirit. Uh, make sure you have dope. fun. Yeah, that's, that's gonna, gonna be tight. Uh, we got. We got Malcolm London coming on the seventeenth. Uh, we got Maxwell Cream coming April. Uh, yeah, but all that information is on is on uh, uh, make sure you have fun dot com. So check it out. Make sure you have fun dot com every day, especially on Tuesday. <laughs> the Berg Boys, thanks for coming, RB. Thank you for having me, my man. Thank you. Thanks for the gear, man. Y'all make sure oh, yeah, y'all no, go no. shop. With RB, make sure you have fun, Far Ash Brand, thebergboys.com. We're going to take a quick break and remind y'all what the favorite time of day is, bitch. <laughs> he wrote a little brother. Yo, turn it up a little bit. This is a tailor. This ain't a little brother. This is a tailor. This is a personal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody finna add this. Introduce this shit, man. Please, introduce this shit, man. It's that time of day. What time is it, man? It's Kush time with Flack. Oh, man. Oh, shit. What I'm doing, though, man? Oh, shit. What I'm doing? Sir Flackwood. What I'm doing? Always rolling up. Up backwood. Backwood, baby. That's right, You know, and I got some type of little sway shit on today. I'm feeling I feel you. Is that yeah. Gucci? No, it's fake. I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's look nice. It still look nice, yeah. though. Yeah. I'm in my bag here a little bit. You fresh. Yeah, I'm trying to be. I'm far ash. Far ash. Yeah. I made that up. Far ash. I don't know what okay. that other dude was talking. So I'm fucking, I'm fucking with him. That's the homie RB. He, he fucked with He made it up. I ain't going to it. But Spills, push that little button with two lines on it. Let's press pause. Can we oh. get some applause for Kush Time? Can we get, yeah, hell yeah. That ain't applause. I'ma just go in and put him on blast real quick. He been fucking up tonight. He been fucking up. Where the applause at, man? Yeah, yeah. That's what 
Because I'm gonna keep it real. He fucked up twice. Man. He did. He did. He fucked but up. but he be on point though. He be on point. I thought that that one was too, too much insane. alcohol and That's not enough Kush. Not enough Kush. He's <laughs> Al Bundy. You get your Kush rolled up, Al. Stop no, being I Al don't. Bundy. I don't. As always, get I'm, your, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on y'all. Get your Kush roll. I don't have it. Yeah, Al get your Bundy. Kush roll. I'm standing over the tables the whole time. What what type of Kush you smoking? Oh now? man, I'm smoking. Gelato and Sherbet Cross. Sherbet Sherblato. 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 Yeah, Sherblato. Sherblato. That's <laughs> what this is. Yes, it is Sherblato. I just asked on the floor accident. <laughs> Sherblato. Okay. Apology. As long as we get, we'll get, well, uh, we'll get that up. Yeah, I did it. I got it. My foot. We got a vacuum. <laughs> my foot's a vacuum on ashes. Yeah, that, don't, don't do that. We'll just okay. vacuum it up. Yeah, oh, just, let it, just let it sit. Oh, so. <laughs> just I, let it sit. I was smoking my Kush this morning. And I was thinking to myself, why didn't nobody come up with breakfast blunts? Like breakfast. Like a flavor? Yeah, like a flavor, like bacon, <laughs> egg, French toast. Because I'll smoke some Kush in a pa- pancake blunt. Would you smoke like some <laughs> cheese eggs? I will smoke grit. I don't know about, I will smoke a grits backwood. <laughs> with, with, what about a, like a waffle cone backwood? You might be on it something. <laughs> Swear. Or... You, See, but I'm gonna keep it real. They would have to keep it. They would have to keep it like for the I culture. Just, so so they would have to have turkey bacon backwards too. <laughs> have to keep it for because some people don't eat pork. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm that's, right. that's real. You're absolutely that's real. Right. That's real. It's real. That's but it. no, but see, you thinking of a disgusting, but. In the morning when you wake up, you got a cup of orange juice. You don't want to get on a grill and be like, "So I'm making pancakes." No, no, you don't want to make pancakes. Get they did make some lunch. nasty bags of chips. <laughs> like, so I assure you, they will make nasty backwards. Whoever, <laughs> whoever make wrap snacks, fuck with me on the breakfast blunts. If you make wrap snacks, fuck breakfast with me. Breakfast blunts. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think shit. my blood went out, but... Not, I will not be smoking that shit. <laughs> but see, hold on. I got a little... See, I do this a lot. See, I, I smoke... <laughs> I smoke and light and Bruh. do shit like this a lot. Like when Damn, I, I Daniel. can still smoke Damn, and do stuff. Damn, Daniel. I feel you. Yeah, I can smoke and do stuff. Like I smoke and do a lot of different things, you know. Like so what? I, like take baths. And <laughs> one day I'm going to keep it a bear with you. I'm going to keep it a bear with you. I'm going to give you all some true life of flag Hollywood story you type shit. take a bath, do you use no. your hand? The nigga, no, the wait. Washer. Yeah, I do. Ooh. I do. Sometimes okay. I do. Okay. Sometimes I just want to remind myself where I don't want to be at. Oh, I always wrap myself shit. where I come from. What's that like? A, so a I wash up with my hands. So shower. I just wash it. So I don't want to be there. So I, I hustle. I said when I'm washing up with my hand, I tell myself, "You don't want to do this, right? You better hustle. You better work." And I wash up with my knuckles too. Oh, <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> but no, I do because one day. We, we went out, Chew was over my career, we went out, nigga came out like, bro, you be smoking in the shower, there's a roach in your shower. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, and it was a big ass roach. I was like, yeah, bro, I be smoking in the shower. <laughs> this, that was your homie in there? Bro, uh, roach was this big, bro, swear to God. Bro. Big as the blunt? Uh, uh, did you, you fucking bitch? Did you smoke that nigga? I smoked him. Joe's apartment style. Ooh, shit. Was he, was he fire? Oh, that nigga probably That nigga probably Spank like shit <laughs> <laughs> It was moist probably Probably Ugh. But Then I was thinking to my I smoke a lot And think of shit I was like What if What if video game characters Smoke weed Like cartoon characters And shit Like Sonic and Pac-Man And shit And Mario Like what if them niggas smoke Would the game be way more The game would be way more funner If you could find weed leaves And like if you find pack for the big man, you could you find like KK, you could fly extra long type shit. Like you know what I mean? Like like Pac Man instead of getting fruit, she getting sacks and shit. Like you know what I mean? She get a little sack, 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 sack. And then it's cops Bruh. chasing her. Yeah, like it's what cop- about if Mario like go through the pipe and he come through the pipe and come out he get the weed leaf? He should come out of the dispensary. And he can fly. Oh shit! You <laughs> get like the green. The green juice around him. Yeah, it should be. It should be E for everyone. It should be M for mature, so we could have we. And dance. then everybody that he go, he go past. He don't kill him. He make him dance. And and then, yeah, they'll all, they'll all be happy oh. as hell. Yeah, be, like like Moonwalker. Like remember Michael Tyson? Yeah, they all dance with him. Yeah, they gotta do the dance move. Yeah, and, yeah, and then like Bowser that. is not his enemy. That's his homie. They be smoking Bruh. together. 
Yeah. They gonna roll up. Yeah, and then peaches. Bruh. That would be peaches a hard. thought though, for real. They like that's how they end the so beat. She really be yeah, that's how they end the Bowser on the love. Bowser be like, bro, why is we fighting? She was over my crib. Because Bowser's the big for. homie in the hood. But Mario thought yeah. Mario just make the no. paper. You know what I'm Mario saying? Mario thought that <laughs> Bowser took her. But Bowser didn't take her. Peach was in Bowser's section with the handy bottle, which oh, like she ain't had no nigga like, like Mario. Yeah, then Mario didn't know that. So, she fell. Yeah, she fell. So Luigi dropped it down. Yeah. Luigi, he was like, bro, I gotta tell you something. I don't want you to. Luigi had to keep it well with his bro. Yeah, and then the little turtle dude, he just he just there. He bro. like oh, who, toad. Yeah, he just there. That's my dog. No, he don't play no significant role. He just cute and he there. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying little toad, nigga. Toad bring the hoes. You know, you gotta have a light skin. So he with just you. came through. He's the light skin. Yeah, because you know all the okay, hoes. Like, I was wondering who he would be. He would. Be. He's just a light skin. He is the light skin that, that dress okay. nice and don't get aggressive. Okay, you know, Toe, cool. A, yeah, Toe. He he can, his hurt. legs work. <laughs> yeah. He see. like a light skin nigga. Yeah, see? We can run. We can see? run. I think we should bring that back out, bro. Fight, too. <laughs> but Don't then, get it you, twisted. Bruce Lee was light where, skin. Hold on, where my lighter? See, another thing we need, like, where my lighter at? Because I'm, well, let me get my lighter off that. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me light up. Let me light up. Light up. And then I was thinking, too, like, remember, f- remember, um, um, see, I'm a, uh, it's an old movie, Four Nick, Fantastic Four. Yeah, Fantastic Four. Remember how the fire dude, he never needed a lighter. Like, if fire... Flame on. Bro, if I was him, bro, <laughs> bro I would just roll up and... <laughs> like, film, like, you need a lighter, I'll just... <laughs> like, you know, bro, like, I would use my powers for me. I would still say the world, like, I would still, like, if somebody come do... He's selfish. Yeah, but no, no, see, I say I would still say the world, but get half oh, first, okay, okay. low way oh, first. Oh, yeah, 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 I see, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> It'd be burning the blunt with the same finger. See, I'll just, I'll just, at this point, I'm just only fucking with wax and torches and shit. Torches yeah. and yo, bro. How you gonna hold the blunt, though, fam? That's, see, that's a trick question. I got an oven mitt on. I got an oven mitt on. Got a, he, got a, a he got a he got a he got a special oven a special glove on the his hand. Fireproof glove. A special <laughs> glove on his hand and let him hold I'll weed. I'll be the superhero. I will smoke weed. I will be mad as hell when blood. somebody come do ignorant shit. So I will put my blunt out like blunt. like the shit of my signal go off in the air like oh they need you to save him. I'm like that. Put my blunt out. I'm fucking somebody up when I get to the scene. <laughs> Because I gotta put my blunt up, so I'm like, I'm gonna fuck you up when I get to the scene, and I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna extra mad. I'm extra hot because I gotta. I just rolled a cannon. My signal came up, like the signal came up. I just hit it once, like you know, I'm in the crib, like watching TV. Signal, who robbed with a fucking bank? I'm, getting, I'm flying to the shit, like, and I'm going there. I'm gonna whoop his ass. And I'm gonna fly back there. To get your just, blunt, yeah, bro. That, that's, to get that's, your blunt that was in the bathtub, bro. In the bath, ever, in the in the bro, shower. Have you <laughs> ever came back and the blunt wasn't there? Mm. I lost blunts before. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. Like this is a confession. I almost crashed in traffic looking for a blunt under my seat because it, it dropped out my ear and I needed that, bro. <laughs> like I, like, and then I I was reaching and I looked up and I hit the brakes and it was. And then somebody was next to me when I pulled up, and I kind of had to play it off. Like, screw. And I, you know what I mean? I'm looking. They looking at me, and I'm just like, this motherfucker in front of me hitting they brakes. You know what I mean? But, oh, shit. I mean, I do I do what I got to do for my smoke. You know, I do I, I do what I got to do. I can tell. Yeah, but, you, you know, you I gotta think. You got to get it how you live. Talk, talk, you get it where you yeah. fit in. Oh, that's my music. That means my time is up. Oh, the, we still got, we still I just only get 10 minutes. You got to talk to my then. Okay. I just we, get ten minutes. My agent will. We gonna have to talk to. I need that a age. trailer and shit. I need somebody to. I want to just come in and sit down, like they brush my face off and get the ashiness and put lotion. I just want to. some lotion. Yeah. On you. Yeah, I feel yeah. That. And then like, yeah, I just want to get get treated like a star. Please. Just be able to smoke my whole doobie or my whole blood. No, that's because spills spills is running it, and he always cut me short. Spills, he always. What's why he do that to me? I'm sad. I don't think he had anything wrong. Oh, yeah, he ain't smoking. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> pass him the Now weed. it's all back on me. They always oh. throw it back on the white guy. You ain't even got a cush time. Put your cush down. You know what time it is. Put your goddamn cush time voice on. Do not disrespect the time. 
Uh, Put your kush time voice. Now, what you say? It's kush time. It's kush time with Vlad. There you go. There there, we don't get hype in this zone. Uh-huh. This is a no hype zone. No it's hype this, zone. I didn't get to partake in the festivities today. But it's cool, brother. I got some vibranium for you. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Gas up. Gas on. Gas up. on. But Hold on. Kush time and what kind? It's, it's, it's not over yet. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, spit. That's how, we, that's how we get that. Mm. That's how we get that. Where's my lighter? But that's back to what I was that. saying yeah. before my music came on and light shit. Light back up. Light back up. Yeah. Light back up. That's all it is. Like, that's all oh, I needed. Hold on. Before, I, before the music went off and shit, <laughs> and I was like, look, listen, I be sitting at home. I think I think this Kush need a delivery service. Like a, a, a Kush like a Kush hub or a Uber Uber Kush. Hell yeah. Like Uber smoke. Cause, Cause sometimes I don't be wanting to have to go. Sometimes I want somebody else to get followed by the cops. Yeah, <laughs> just drop it off to me. And if the cops is behind you, I ain't gonna answer the door. If the cops is behind you, I must I must speak no English and be blind. Exactly. But you know, you already hit the Kush, but start the music because I think I I wanna get some food for some Chinese food. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, but, I'm getting a little bit. No, start it from the too. beginning, please. Yeah. <laughs> start it from the top. All right. You please. know, Please, you know, please. I hate when this time comes, but uh, I just want to say thank y'all. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Protect with me. Yeah, thank rolled everybody. up. Even if it was a dam, or even if it was a gram, Whatever or nothing, or nothing, or nothing, or even if you're him and it was nothing. Thank even you for. If it was just a th- th- Thank from the bottom of my heart. I swear, from the bottom, like from the bottom of my, in my shoes. Thank you. Like thank you for fucking with me. <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, like all the way down to my shoes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Push time with flag. Thank you. Push time. Keep smoking. Push time. I'm out. Potus out. He's out. <laughs> he's, he's not out. <laughs> no, but uh, motor. Next week, make sure y'all check us out, man. Drum reverse DJ this Saturday, and next week. We got some knife shit. Stay tuned for the Berg Boys. It's your man DJ Motorman. Drummer vs. DJs this weekend. That sounds like a good event, man. It's a real good event, G. Oh, man. I don't think you can smoke Kush in there, though. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to think of it. I'm going to still come, though. You can get Kushy saying. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go outside and hit your pen. I want to see some of that, though. I want to see bathroom. some of that. I ain't going to advise you, but you know what I'm saying? No, I want to see some of that. Get your cushion. But listen, you how to, you got to get your cushion without being ignorant. Oh, you have, know what you I'm have saying? to come to rehearsal. I got to come to this. Re- oh, you have to come to rehearsal because oh, we already have our stuff kind yeah. of oh, somewhat shit. prepared. But you got to come to rehearsal to see the real shit. I'm hopping on my shit. I'm going to kick you off the shit. Like, we need. We got you. We got you involved. No, I'm just oh, kidding. I don't right. know. I'm Listen, just making shit up. But I could backflip. Come I backflip one time in my life. <laughs> Go peep my video. It, it was successful. <laughs> but I backflip. I back you flip. might see it live. Oh yeah. You never know. Please that don't crazy. do that on stage. Please. My yeah. insurance kick in on the first. So we, we Gucci baby. <laughs> Is Gucci. it performance insurance? Uh. You might want to check with your agent about you that. Check with it. That's flow you on the go. To do your own I'm about stunts. to call Bay Flow on the go. Yeah, you ain't allowed to do your own stuff. Bay you Flow on the go. You, you got him. You got You got to ask. You got to ask your agent. No, I got the general though. I wanted up the. If you got the general, you've been in some fucked up accidents in your life. <laughs> you rear ended a couple motherfuckers if you need the general. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, we good. We good. I really call Allstate and they sent me a letter like, uh, due to your record, we can't fuck with you. The general said, yeah, come over here. <laughs> The general there. is the man. The general, I'm fucking with Shaq and the general. <laughs> Save some time, motherfucker. I'm fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? I get in where I can fit in, bro. That's the general. If the I'm, general, yeah. slimy G. Yeah, he saved some time. <laughs> you know, they practice on the free throw, Shaq. I'm fucking with. The, bro, bro. I gotta go to, I gotta go to the Ace Cash and to pay my insurance. So you know how sketchy. And that's in some sketchy neighborhood. So yeah, the general fuck with the hood. The general is the hood. The general is the plug. He's the, plug. He's the insurance plug, bro. Like, like he, he, he's pulling, bro. The general's pulling up. If you in, if you were in Northview Heights, the general got insurance for you. Facts. Like I'm telling you, he's pulling up and insuring you. But uh, I'm out though. Yeah, I'm out.
Oh, shit. We out.